Hello internet and welcome to CodePick. In this video, we will be looking at Tauri, a toolkit for building cross-platform desktop apps. I hope I got you excited, so let's get started. After nearly 9 months of beta, Tauri version 1.0 is now available. This means we have a stable version of Tauri which we can use to build production-ready cross-platform desktop applications. As developers, we can leverage any front-end framework that compiles to HTML, CSS and JavaScript for building user interface. If you are into cross-platform app development, you might know there is already a very big player in this market. And that is Electron.js. Even Electron.js help us build desktop apps using any front-end technology. And most of the apps we use on a day-to-day -day basis is built using Electron. Now, the big question is, why Tauri? To understand that, first let's look at Electron.js. Electron's backend is in Node and frontend is in Chromium browser. The major drawback of this is that it ships apps with large executable file which consumes a lot of memory. This is where Tauri comes in. It is a framework for building tiny, blazingly fast binaries which is memory safe for all major desktop platforms. Tauri is able to achieve this by replacing Node on the backend with Rust and Chromium on the frontend with Tau and Y as the window handling library. Tauri was built keeping security and privacy in mind. Security is a major concern when building apps using Electron. Node by default give complete access to the user's operating system. Let me give you a quick demo. Here I am on REPL, an online code editor. I have created a Node.js project and in the index.js called the OS module and then logged the platform architecture and the version of the operating system. On running this, I get to know that the operating system is Linux using a 64-bit architecture and also the Linux version. The problem here is that without explicit consent, I am able to get information about the system that is running my code and that is bad. I have the power to start spawning threat on the system and ask them to perform other tasks in the background. To address these pitfalls, the creator of Node, Ryan, made Dino. You can check out my video on Dino to know more. Tauri addresses this problem by making sure your application by default gets no permissions at all. All the permissions needed for your application should be explicitly specified in Tauri config JSON. So, the end user is very clear as to what permissions a particular app on his desktop can have access to. As you can see here, in my Tauri config JSON, I have given explicit access to HTTP and the OS module. So I can make API calls and read user OS information. In this way, Tauri addresses the security issue. Tauri is very much concerned about users' data and privacy. Hence, it follows local-first approach to build application, where these applications rely on local databases rather than sending and storing data on the cloud. You can understand this better when my Tauri tutorial series comes out, where I teach you everything you need to know to start building cross-platform desktop application. To conclude, Tauri is fast and performant and the future of Tauri looks bright. That's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Happy coding until then.